Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In this video, we will see how you can create a new uh, React Native project in your computer. In our last video, we saw that uh, what are the dependencies and what are the uh, software that you require to download to create the React Native app. So, first of all, there are basically two methods in which you can create React Native apps. The first and the basic one is Expose CLI. Expose CLI allows you to target the common APIs that are present in both the platforms Android and iOS. And if you want to target the native APIs that is provided by only Android or iOS, then you cannot do it with the Expose CLI. Uh, for that, you need to go for the React Native CLI. But it is advisable to start with Expo CLI and then once you get familiar with this then you can always move on to the React Native CLI. So React Native CLI basically allows you to target these specific APIs and we can write code in native development. So as I said in our previous video we can install the dependencies using this command npm install to create the app uh, let us open the terminal or command prompt if you are using windows machine just write expo in it and the project name and press enter okay so here we have uh, several options blank blank with typescript and tabs uh, we, we will go for the blank if you want to develop the project in TypeScript then you can click on this second option and if we want navigation pre-built in our project we can go for the third option tabs but uh, we will do everything from scratch so uh, I'll choose the blank option now uh, it will install the dependencies that need to create before we start the project so it will take some time. Okay, so the project is created. Uh, let me just open it. I will use Visual Studio Code throughout the videos. okay so our project is open uh, on the left side you can see all the files uh, that has been created by the react native now let me just run it open the terminal and simply write npm start As you can see our app is running so now we will 
uh, review or test the app on Android emulator. So for that you need to install Android Studio in your computer as I said in our last video. So let me just open Android Studio. Now click on the configure AVD manager. AVD stands for Android Virtual Devices. Here you can see the emulator. If you uh, doesn't have any emulator, then you can create one by simply click on the create virtual device. I have already one, so let me just click on the play button. Okay, so it's actually showing my previous app. So let me just close it. Okay, so you can click on the run on Android device emulator and app will be installed on our emulator. Uh, it will take some time when you open in for the first time. Okay, so it's completed. Here you can see the app is successfully running on our Android emulator. Open up app.js to start working on your app. So here is the app.js file. Here is the text component that you can see on the first screen. Let me just change it. Now when I save it, it will automatically update it on our uh, emulator which is called hot reloading. Here you can see the text is changed. Now if you have a Mac machine, so you can also preview or test your app on an iOS simulator. For that you have uh, to install Xcode on your computer. So let me just open it. And open developer tools and simulator.
Okay, so you can now simply click on the run on iOS simulator. Here you can see hello world is printed on the first screen. Let me just change it so you can uh, see that. Hello world to iOS now. If I save it, you can see. So this is how basically uh, you can run your app on iOS and Android simulator. You can also test your app on a physical device. For that you need to install an app called Expo on your smartphone which is available on Play Store and App Store. And you just need to scan this QR code. So let me just show you the uh, recording from my smartphone. So here you can see you need to open the play store. Search uh, for the expo app. Open. I already installed it. Now click on this scan QR code and scan the QR code. Here you can see app is successfully running. So this is for this video. Thanks for watching it.